Hello and welcome to the Daily Devotion here at Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Vicar Goodroad. Our reading today is the Holy Gospel for Maundy Thursday. This comes from the book of John, chapter 13. Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart out of this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. During supper, when the devil had already put it into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going back to God, rose from supper. He laid aside his outer garments, and taking a towel, tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin, and began to wash the disciples' feet, and to wipe them with the towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, do you wash my feet? Jesus answered him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but afterward you will understand. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I do not wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, the one who has bathed does not need to wash except for his feet, but is completely clean. And you are clean, but not every one of you. For he knew who was to betray him. That was why he said, Not all of you are clean. When he had washed their feet and put on his outer garments and resumed his place, he said to them, Do you understand what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for so I am. If I, then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you also should do just as I have done to you. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. By this all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. This phrase is really often abused by people inside and outside of the church. Love one another. We've had countless discussions on what that means, but how people usually abuse it is by doing this. Oh, well, what you're doing is not very Christian. That's not very loving of you. You know, your God, your Jesus, he always just tells people to love one another. And what you're doing is not very loving. This is typically in the context of one Christian pointing out what's a sin. Something that is publicly being done in front of everyone. And Christians saying, that's not right. That's sin. We shouldn't be doing that. God is clear about this. We shouldn't do things like this. Especially things like homosexuality or abortion or transgenderism. All of these different myriad of sins in our society today that are being accepted. And they're trying to be normalized and pushed into school curriculums and children's minds and adults' minds everywhere. That's what our society is trying to do is push all of these things, that all of these things are really okay. The things that the Bible is clear about is sin. It's actually not sin. My friends, don't be deceived by these people. Don't be deceived by this incorrect teaching, this bad doctrine. Jesus is not ever going to tell you that homosexuality is perfectly acceptable and, and it's okay and that love is love. That's not what love really is. Love is what Christ did for us. Love is sacrifice on a cross to atone for the sins of the entire world. That's what love really is. That's what we should share with one another. It's the love of Christ. We should spread his gospel, his good news about the entire world that, yes, we're sinners. We know that. We see that every single day. But that doesn't mean that God doesn't love us. That means that Christ died for you. Christ died to forgive that sin. So repent, sin no more. Repent, 
of all of that sin, of thinking that, well, you don't sin, and even if you did, it's, it's not your fault. Repent. Be forgiven. Give that sin to Christ in order that you can be clothed with his righteousness, because it's what he does in baptism. He washes you clean of all of that sin, just as he washed the feet of the disciples here. That's what it's all about. The forgiveness of sins found in Christ applied to you in the waters of baptism with the word of God. In the name of Jesus, amen.